Does the COVID-19 vaccine compromise our immune system in any way? And how does the vaccine protect us from hospitalization or even death? Welcome to A Matter of Fact, a production of the Pan American Health Organization for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean countries. I'm Nicola Barito. A Matter of Fact is designed to inform and educate you about the SARS-CoV-2 virus which causes COVID-19. Also taking an in-depth look at the benefits of vaccination. My guest today is Dr. Tarian Joseph. Dr. Joseph, how does the COVID-19 vaccine protect us from hospitalization or even death? So what we do know is that vaccines work and the COVID-19 vaccine is no different. Um, from what we're seeing so far and what we know, the COVID-19 vaccine, a person who's actually vaccinated is less likely to get the virus, but even more or less likely to end up in the hospital or even dying from COVID-19. Conversely, the person who isn't vaccinated, well, has to be the reverse, right? More likely to get the virus. And if they get the virus, more likely to end up with moderate to severe disease end up hospitalized, probably ventilated, and, you know, may just die. Is there any possibility in any form or fashion that our immune system could be compromised after taking the COVID-19 vaccine? There actually is no data to support that. Um, what we do know is that it helps boost your immune system. Because what it does, it, it helps the body it builds up the body's defense. Think think of your body's defense as its own army. So it, it rallies the troops. And so, you know, when your your body is confronted with the COVID-19 vaccines, your troops are ready, your immune system is actually ready to beat the virus. You know, everybody was born into the vaccination program. We've never had to think about why vaccines are created, how vaccines are created, the processes that it would go through to get approved for use in humans, but now it's like living through that process. Yeah, it's difficult, it's a lot to handle. And if you are not scientifically inclined, it could be overwhelming and pretty much scary. And people tend to shy away from what is actually scary. It's, it's your own way of protecting your mind and protecting yourself. What's your message to the Eastern Caribbean? Message is simple, protect yourself. How do you do that? Follow the public health measures that protect us against COVID-19. Hold each other accountable. And take the vaccine, it works. Thank you, Dr. Joseph. This has been A Matter of Fact, a production of the Pan American Health Organization for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean countries. Thank you for joining us.